Welcome back. I'm David Nelson, host of the Traders Network show, broadcasting worldwide from the New York Stock Exchange on iHeartRadio and mm. Equities.com. We're here for an event being hosted by the United Nations Sustainable Stock Exchanges Initiative. And my next guest is Sunil Benamadu, excuse me, who's the CEO of the Stock Exchange of Mauritius. Welcome, sir. Thanks so much for being with Thank us. Thank you. Thank you. You know, I was looking over your background, Mr. Benamadu, and uh, you were appointed. Uh, as director of the exchange back in, in really the dark days of 2008 and during the financial crisis. And here you are now as the CEO uh, of, the, of the exchange. How did you manage to make that transition and accomplish so much over these last few years? Well, ever since I joined the exchange, I've been driven by a number of goals. First of all, I think uh, uh, the stock exchange has a critical role to play in terms of unfolding the potential of economic growth. And therefore, uh, uh, the whole idea of, of, of being at the head of an exchange is to try to drive this agenda forward. And I've been driven by that together with my team so that, you know, the Stock Exchange of Mauritius can play an important role in uh, driving the growth of the Mauritian economy, uh, bringing change to the lives of people, empowering the investor but also uh, creating the platform for companies to raise capital to fund their future growth and create jobs for the economy. You, we were talking off camera and you mentioned that, uh, that your organization has just joined the initiative at this point. What prompted that? Well, I think uh, we wanted to bring our very modest contribution to the international uh, sustainable agenda. We think that as exchanges, uh, we have, as I mentioned, a very important role to play in driving economic growth, but we have to make sure that this growth takes place within a very sustainable environment. I think uh, we all know that the world is threatened by a number of uh, potential calamities, climate change and the impact that it is having. And coming from an island like Mauritius, which, you know, drives its, uh, you know, uh, uh, growth and uh, from, from its beauty, uh, from the climate in which we live, I think it was fundamental for us as an exchange to bring our small contribution to the national agenda of positioning Mauritius as a sustainable island. But our drive to join the UN Sustainable Stock Exchange Initiative is a clear indication of our willingness to bring this small contribution to the global agenda of sustainability. Oh, that's well said. Uh, how, how, you, how, how is the exchange really positioning itself to get this message out to the members of your exchange, the companies that trade yes. on your exchange? Well, first of all, we embarked on what I call a voluntary exercise. Uh, so we wanted to showcase those companies that are championing the sustainability cause in Mauritius. So we went ahead and said the best way to, uh, to show that is to create a sustainability index which will track the performances of those companies that are really championing this cause. So we went, created a framework, defined the criteria of what a sustainable company is and we use the uh, Global Reporting Initiative GRI uh, criteria which embraces four pillars of sustainability uh, linked to uh, governance, linked to environmental concerns, linked to social concerns, but also linked to the economic agenda of companies. Because for me, a sustainable company is one which is taking care of its sustainability from a profit perspective, but also its sustainability from a transparency governance standpoint, from its, the role that it plays within society, but also uh, how, how, tra how well governed sure. this company is. So, we went ahead and created, uh, you know, this framework, uh, identify all the criteria, and then invited the companies to those that were volunteering to be part of that index to demonstrate their Is compliance. Is it a voluntary basis, right? Yes, now? It, it has been voluntary. And I was pleasantly surprised because many of the large companies that are listed really? came forward and said this is a good initiative, we want to be part of it because we want to also bring our own contribution to the national agenda of positioning Mauritius as a sustainable uh, island. So once we, we, the companies went through this uh, exercise, we identified those that met the minimum pass, mm -hmm. pass mark, which was about 60% weighted average of all the four pillars that I mentioned. 
And then we uh, uh, outsource uh, the audit uh, on the ground to an independent party to ascertain that what was said by the companies was actually what was on the ground. So then once we, we, we had, I think, about uh, a number of companies that complied, we launched our index two weeks ago, and now this index is tracking those companies. And our whole objective is to encourage other listed companies that have not been part of it since the beginning sure. to join later, and eventually, you know, to encourage even the non-listed companies to emulate those that are driving this agenda. Well said. Uh, any last words that you have for the United Nations and the Sustainable Stock Exchanges Initiative as they launch their sustainable development goals? No, I think it's a great initiative because at the end of the day, as uh, you know, we had a discussion before I came uh, to, to this interview, and it, it was made very clear by the UN representatives uh, in that luncheon that I participated in that uh, UN can drive the agenda, but for it to be a success, it has to get the buying of the operators, the private sector people. I think exchanges are ideally positioned at the intersection between the policy makers, the investors, and the listed companies. So I think uh, the, the, it's, a, it's a great initiative, and we, we really look forward as the Stock Exchange of Mauritius to be an active member of the uh, UN Sustainable Stock Exchange Initiative and to drive this agenda because at the end of the day, I think uh, our whole uh, future, the, whole, the future of humanity depends a lot on, on how, how sure far that, we move forward. I am that. sure that's true. Thank you so much for being with us. It's sir. a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you for, for, for these uh, very interesting questions. Thank you. Thank you. That was Sunil uh, Benamadu, CEO of the Stock Exchange of Mauritius. By the way, a quick thank you goes out to 1-800-PUBLIC-RELATIONS for all the PR and media support. Thanks for joining. I'm David Nelson.